Hello, good morning everyone. So in this video, I am going to discuss Horton's infiltration curve, which is nothing but how the infiltration capacity or the infiltration rate varies with time. Now, what is this infiltration rate or infiltration capacity? So infiltration rate is nothing but the speed at which infiltration is happening. So what is infiltration? Infiltration is nothing but the movement of water into the soil. How the water is being absorbed by the soil depends on the soil properties. Now which water? It is rainfall we are talking about particularly in hydrology. So we are saying that when the precipitation is occurring, some part of it is being absorbed by the soil. This absorption is nothing but infiltration. We are interested in how this infiltration is Varying with respect to time, what is the maximum rate at which it can happen is nothing but infiltration capacity. So, Hortons conducted infiltration test on infiltrometer and then he found that with respect to time, infiltration capacity decreases. It is not constant for a particular soil. It varies with respect to time for a given soil. So, he found that this decrease is exponential. So with respect to time, that is F, which is nothing but infiltration rate or capacity. So initially, when the soil moisture is not there, when the soil is dry, rainfall has just started, infiltration will start at a faster rate. And then with time, it will achieve after a very long time, it will achieve a constant rate. This initial value of infiltration rate is denoted by F0. It is called initial infiltration capacity or rate. Okay. This constant value which we attain after a very long time, it is called constant or ultimate or I'll say final or steady infiltration rate. So Hortons found that there is a decrease. Also this decrease is exponential. The rate or the rate at which it is decreasing or the slope of this graph is called as k which is nothing but the decay coefficient. So this equation or this curve relates the re infiltration rate with respect to time. Now it should be very clear that the area under this curve, this shaded area represents the infiltration depth or the cumulative infiltration. So we found that even though infiltration rate decreases with time, the total infiltration will increase with time. So it is very easy to understand that infiltration depth will keep on increasing with time whereas the rate will decrease. So this is for cumulative infiltration and this is for infiltration rate. So cumulative infiltration is nothing but Infiltration rate, we just integrate it from 0 to 2 intervals, say here, 0 to t interval. Now, Hortons has given the expression of infiltration rate at any point of time t. It is nothing but Fc plus F0 minus Fc e to the power minus kt. This is the equation by Horton which is also called Horton's infiltration equation. So here in this equation, Ft is infiltration rate at any point of time t. Say at any instant t. Fc is nothing but the final or the steady infiltration rate achieved after say infinite time, after infinite point of time we achieve this. F0 is the initial infiltration rate. That is at the beginning of this storm. 
and k is the decay coefficient now this is infiltration rate so the unit will be depth of infiltration per unit time it can be expressed as centimeter per hour or millimeters per hour but it will be always in depth per unit time here the decay coefficient unit will be kt should be dimensionless so t is time so k unit will be time inverse so if t is in hours k will be 1 by r if unit of k if time is in seconds unit of k will be 1 by second so depending on the question you should understand that what should be the value of in what unit you should substitute so this is for horton's infiltration equation now we'll see one or two numericals based on this so suppose the question is Infiltration equation for a given catchment is expressed in the form of f is equals to say six point eight plus eight point seven e to the power minus two t. So this is the equation given to a catchment, and this equation is similar to Horton's equation. Now the question is find out the parameters of this equation. So parameters are nothing but unknowns of the equation. So we know. Hot an equation is f at any instant t is f c plus f not minus f c e to the power minus k t. So if you compare these two equations, the hot an equation and the equation given to us in our catchment for infiltration. So can I compare these two equations? So if I compare, I see that f c value is six point eight. F not minus F C value is written here eight point seven, so I can find F not value, that is fifteen point five. Obviously, unit will be predefined say centimeter per hour in this case. K value is two. R inverse. So this is how we can see that how. we can find the parameters of the equation or how we can compare two horton's equation and get the parameters